This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Let us talk about digestion in some grass eating animals. Before that we need to understand that the herbivore animals like cattle, goat, sheep, giraffe, deer etc. eat mainly grass and other plant leaves as food. Now this grass and green plants are very rich in cellulose. This cellulose is very difficult to digest so they need to chew it a lot of times. Also this cellulose carbohydrate present in grass can be digested by the action of certain bacteria, which are present only in the stomach of animals which are called ruminants and what are these ruminants? These are mainly grass eating animals like cattle, goat, sheep, giraffe, antelopes, etc. Now let us talk about digestion of grass in the animals. Now the animal like cow which eats grass has a special stomach to digest the tough cellulose carbohydrate present in the grass. The stomach of the cow is large and consists of four compartments out of which first one is rumen. It is the largest compartment. When the cow eats grass as food while grazing, it does not chew it completely. The cow swallows the grass quickly with little chewing and stores it in the rumen. This rumen contains cellulose digestion bacteria. So here there is the bacteria which is required. The bacteria present in the rumen of the cow starts to digest the cellulose carbohydrate present in grass food. Thus the grass is partially digested in the rumen. The partially digested food in the rumen of the cow is called cut. After some time when the cow is resting, the cut from the rumen is brought back to the mouth of the cow in small amounts at a time. The cow now chews the cut thoroughly. This is why many times we see a cow moving its jaws from side to side and chewing continuously even when it is not eating grass. This process by which the cut is brought back from the stomach to the mouth of the animal and chewed again is called rumination. When the cud is thoroughly chewed in the mouth of the cow, it is swallowed again, but this time it does not go back to the rumen. It is sent back into another compartment of the stomach and then it is sent to the small intestine where the digestion and the absorption takes place.